Hello, and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In today's episode, we're going to be covering how to make a grub farm. Now, this might sound a little disgusting, uh, but that sort of is the point. I wanted this to be a really unique um, encounter location for the adventurers, so I decided to put together this interesting looking grub farm where the inhabitants of this cave were um, basically growing and harvesting grubs through uh, various different life cycles of the, the grubs um, living. So there's some smaller baby grubs, some larger grubs, and eventually those grubs would get cooked on this little open pit smoking fire. This is what those inhabitants would uh, primarily eat. It was an easy way for them to create food in this dark and desolate location. Um, so it was a, a neat, neat encounter. This also serves to um, be just some basic pits. You can take the, the grub sections out so you can use them as pits if you wanted to. Uh, but otherwise, I really wanted them to be kind of a unique, disgusting adventure and a little bit dangerous. Having the grubs have some attacks if you would fall into the pit um, meant that this wasn't just a uh, a location with a bunch of enemies that you had to kill, but there was also some fear of falling in and getting eaten yourself. So let's go to the table and see how this is done. Okay, to start this craft, we're going to use some half-inch XPS foam. We're tracing out the rough shapes of the two pits that we're going to use for the grub farm pits. We're cutting out a bevel on the outside of the trace and then an inside bevel for the inside of the pit. The inside is a little bit steeper than the outside to contain the grubs within it. Now we're going to trace the outside of this onto some eighth inch MDF board. We're going to go to the bandsaw and cut out the pattern of that outer pit. We're going to cut um, pretty tight to that traced line as we don't want any of this MDF really sticking out past the bottom of the uh, pit when we're done with it. Now we're going to grab some tin foil while we still have the loose pits and trace out the inside. This will be the guide for making the grubs uh, later on. Now we're going to use some hot glue and glue those pits onto the MDF. And then we're going to use white glue and coat the entire part of the styrofoam, uh, leaving the MDF inside plain. Uh, if you wanted it to be just a gravel pit, you could cover it that way. But I wanted that to be a smooth bottom to give the illusion that it could be a deeper pit. Now we're going to use some black paint and Mod Podge. And I'm coating the inside of the pits first before I start coating the sand. The sand usually gets picked up in the paint and I didn't want any of that sticking to the flat part of the, the bottom MDF. I'm using some dark brown paint and giving a pretty heavy uh, dry brush or overbrush and leaving just a little bit of that middle exposed to give the illusion that it might be a deep pit underneath. Now I'm using a sandy color and doing a little bit uh, finer of a dry brush uh, just to pick out that sand and, and give it a, a nice dirty pit look. Next, I'm using that little bit more of a khaki and doing a light dry brush over the whole thing. Now we're going to start making the grubs. I just used white Sculpey as the base of the grub. And I'm just forming some small balls of Sculpey and using a toothed comb and brushing that uh, little ball into a worm-like figure with the toothed comb. The teeth on the comb end up giving the little grubs the ridges that they have and it ends up being just a really nice texture. I'm filling up that whole tinfoil section uh, that we had traced out earlier so we know that is the shape of the pits that uh, they'll end up getting set down into. I'm doing a smaller grub as well, so one pit will be larger grubs, the other is going to be a little bit smaller. Next I'm going to use some steel wire. I 
drilled in some holes into some scrap blocks of wood that I had. And these are going to be the spits that the grubs are going to sit on and hang over the fire. So I'm doing the same comb action and then just piercing those little grubs onto the metal spits. And I'll actually bake them on the spits. Once they're all baked and hard, now we're going to give them a coat of white spray paint just so that paint will adhere. Uh, paint doesn't adhere very well to just the base Sculpey, uh, so I like doing a little bit of a spray paint first. Now I'm tracing around the outside of those grubs onto some thin chipboard. This will be the actual base underneath the grubs as the little grub uh, Sculpey is not exactly the most sturdy object. Before we glue them down, however, I'm going to use some brown ink and cover the grubs with a little water uh, to make sure that it doesn't get too overly co covered, um, more like a wash, uh, but with that brown ink, it gave them a really nice, disgusting look. Then I'm using some white glue and gluing them down to those chipboard. You, you notice I painted the chipboard black already. And then those are ready to go in. Next, we're gonna start working on that fire pit. I'm just using some half inch XPS again, cutting out a, a rough ring, and then cutting inside of the ring to form the pit of that fire pit, giving it a rough uh, cut in the middle, and then using an exacto, exacto to shape out the rocks and give it a little bit more of a, a textured feel. I'm using a ballpoint pen to actually trace in rock patterns to show kind of the rock ring for the fire pit and then created a uh, chipboard base for it and put some hot glue and gravel into it. Next we're going to form the upright poles that will hold the the grubs above the fire pit just using some toothpicks and some string and using some white glue and kind of wrapping it around the ends to form the the base of those using some hot glue and just putting those into place. Next, I have some small chunks of stick. I just used a um, cutter to cut those into small bits and then using the X-Acto to split them as if they're firewood. And I'm using a, tooth or a tweezer and gluing those into place as if we have logs in the fire. Using black paint and Mod Podge again, this should give it a nice hard coat and seal up the whole thing. Now we're going to use that dark brown, especially on the wood of the poles, and giving the whole thing a little bit of that as well, just to um, give it some texture. The logs also get that, and then they get a nice coat of gray uh, that looks like ash eventually. Now I'm cutting the wires to fit just above the fire pit, um, and now adding some black paint to the ends of those uh, poles to make it look like it's more wrought iron rather than hard steel. And there is the finished product. We've got the pits, we've got the fire pit itself, and all of the grubs to go inside of it. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.